Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Alan here, at LFC Red Chat. So we're finally back into finally back into the Premier League. Uh, so here's another preview for the Crystal Palace game that's coming up. Um, and sorry to to my subscribers, I've been a bit lazy. Um, of course, the break I haven't updated my list that I normally have sitting up here uh, of my subscribers and who the super sub is going to be. And on my iPad, I can't see who my subscribers are and what order. Sorry. What order they come in, so unfortunately this is going to be super sub uh for just now, but there will be more videos coming up in between this and the Crystal Palace game, and I'll make sure I'll get a whole bunch of people uh, shouted out onto that as well. Alright guys, so let's get stuck into Liverpool Crystal Palace. Uh, let's do the usual, we'll go through it, just like the good old days before the break, it feels like, it feels like I was sitting here before I was about to do this video. And I'm like, oh my goodness, how did I even do these videos again? I couldn't even remember. I had to look at one of my old sheets, one of my old notes, and <laughs> put it out from there. But here we go. So number one, I'm sure everybody knows this already. You know, it's common knowledge. Sturridge is going to be out until the new year. We were hoping he was going to be coming back for this game. This is going to be his big comeback. We're going to see him with Balotelli and see how that was working and everything else. But sadly, it wasn't to be. Another uh, muscular injury in his thigh. I think he re-injured the same thigh that he was that he did on um, England duty way back in August. And it's kind of done him again. It's done. It. You just yeah, that's how you feel, isn't it? Just to, you got the air let, let out of you after hearing about Sturridge. But yeah, done until at least the New Year, six weeks from just now. So we won't be seeing him until at least twenty fifteen. It's sad because potentially he could miss out on that Champions League that he really wanted to play in uh, from last season because he just can't get fit, can't get healthy, can't you know stay injury free at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's it. We have to deal with. We have to move on. Uh, so the number two thing that you need to know: uh, a lot of rumours going around uh, Balotelli's hamstring while he was away with Italy. Um, for all reports that I can find and everything that I've researched before this, it looks like it's pretty minor and it should be able to go for the Crystal Ballast game at least in some capacity, maybe 60-70 minutes. Will be the game plan for him and bring on either Lambert or Barini and, and in and out with that. Uh, so number three, the last time Palace has won was a 2 nothing win uh, against Leicester way back on the 27th of September. So if you think Liverpool were doing bad, the Palace fans have really headed in. Um, different manager, different way a system from what everything was expected about Crystal Palace. If you remember right at the start of the season, Tony Pulis said, nope, that was it. That was it for him. He was done at Palace and they brought in you know, the journeyman, uh, Neil Warnock. And he's, he's been so-so, you know, like he normally is, so-so in the Premier League. Uh, so yeah, the last time they won was way back in September. Number four that you need to know, uh, both of the Liverpool's away wins this season. And it's sad to say both of them, there's only been two. Uh, both came in London against Spurs in that glorious day that, that we had Daniel Sturridge and Balotelli playing together for the only time so far this year. And that, uh, I don't know how you can describe it, the, the shabacko that... Uh, uh, Loftus Road and then a 3-2-1 and all the own goals. That was the, the two wins and both of them came in London. So hopefully uh, we'll see another one. Another win against uh, Crystal Palace in London. Okay. Five, moving on to that being in London. Selhurst Park has been in no way a happy hunting ground for Liverpool in recent seasons. They have won five, drawn five and lost four. Most normally the last, well, no, no, most normally the last season, you know, lose it, but it felt like a loss anyway. But the draw, the 3 3 draw at Selhurst Park last year, which pretty much <laughs> killed their title hopes dead in the water right there. And I, I'll tell you how I how I watched that game because it's pretty memorable. I was on, actually on my honeymoon at the time. I was down in Virginia Beach and went to this beautiful tap room. It had all the micro beers on the wall and everything like that. Tons of taps, tons of beers. Beautiful. Me and my wife went there. 
before we got married, before I had the, my little girl and everything else, way back on a spring break one time, loved it there, spent a fortune there, had to go back while we were down that area. So, it's my honeymoon, I totally forgot about Liverpool playing, it was a midweek game. Um, we went in there, we travelled, it was raining, got my little girl in there, ordered myself the big fuck off burger and everything that, I had my beer and everything sitting there, beautiful. Really enjoying myself. Look up at the TV. I was like, oh shit, Liverpool's playing. I forgot. Liverpool were playing 3 nothing up just before half time. I was like, lovely jubbly. Thank you very much. 3 nothing up. Nothing can stop us right now. Perfect. We'll go into this. We'll put another couple past them. Really need to go for the juggle on this one. And we'll go on and we'll, we'll see Newcastle. The game after. Um, that was not to be. Uh, I sat there and pretty much ate my my depression away, eating into that big old burger and a couple of beers later. I uh, just could not believe what I was seeing. Just go and you're like, okay, 3-1. That's really going to dent the, the goal difference. We're only up by two now. We need a couple more. And we pressed on 3-2. Oh, for fuck's sake, 3-2. Boom, right after 3-3. Three, three. And you're just, you're just like, what the fuck just happened? That was it. Done. Um, so yeah. Hopefully we'll go in there. Uh, put a couple of demons to rest and come out with a victory. Here's hoping, but you never know with this Liverpool team at the moment. But anyway, yeah, that was my experience. If you want to tell me your experience of this game, how you watched it and everything, comments down below. Like I said, I read all of them, I respond to all of them. Except from one, there is one subscriber, new subscriber. You've commented on my last video uh, saying it was very good. Thank you very much for that. Uh, but for whatever reason, I think you have the reply off because I can't reply to you like I normally do. So I'm not ignoring you. I just can't reply. I've done it a couple. I've tried it in a couple different platforms. Can't get onto it. So if you want to fix that, if you want me to reply to your video, your comments or not. But anyway, just to let you know I saw it. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, but yeah, comments down below your experience on this game. Oh, last year, this fixture last year. Uh, so the referee is going to be Jonathan Moss. Um, the ones to watch, obviously punching. Uh, he's the best creative player that they have at the at Selhurst Park. And then Jednak, if that's how you pronounce it, best pass and best tackle and good all round midfielder. Uh, let's dig into the stats. So that's the ones to watch. Let's dig into the stats here. Um, goal score. Both teams have scored 14 goals apiece. Let me tell you how well Liverpool are doing in the final third. Conceded. Uh, Crystal Palace have conceded 20 and Liverpool have conceded 15. Uh, where we're really going to attack, where I feel we're really going to attack, is their sloppiness in their passing percentage. The only pass at a rate of seventy percent, where Liverpool is up at eighty four. Which, from the last couple of stats that I've done, is about you know it's okay, it's above average eighty four percent compared to Chelsea. They're up closer to ninety percent. Other teams that we've played recently have been round about this eighty to ninety percent. So being way down at seventy percent is a big concern. Possession, they like to let you have the ball because they only have it for about 42% of the time and that's probably because they're giving the ball away so much. Liverpool like a lot of possession, 54% on average. Most Large portions of the game were way above that. Chances created, this is another stat I will show you that maybe they like to sit in a little bit, especially the Neil Warnock kind of team. 89 chances created for Crystal and almost 120, 119 for Liverpool at the moment. Which is okay. Uh, let's dig into the injuries. So Liverpool are getting a pretty full physio room at the moment. Henderson, Sturridge, Suso and Flanagan also are injured. Coming back though, Enrique, Sacco and I put down here Balotelli. He wasn't really away but Balotelli, he, for the best of my knowledge, you can put me on this, he will be fit for the game. Crystal Palace, uh, who's going to be out for them? James McCarthy, Scottish International. He'll be out for them. Okay, so let's get into my team. Then we'll do trivia. And any comments, anything you like, down below. Just drop them down. We'll do the team real quick here. Okay, guys. So there's what I'm thinking. 
You can tell me if I'm right or wrong in the comments down below. But Mignolet and Goal, back four. For me, Mankio has to play. I, Johnson is just so far off the boil, it's unreal. Mankio, Skirtle, Lovren, Moreno, Can and Gerrard uh, in there because of Henderson, Henderson being out. Um, I think Shan has definitely deserved his place in the team. Sterling out wide, Barini on the other side, Lallana in that number 10 spot, right in behind Balotelli up there by himself. Lallana in there for... I don't know, this is a guess. It isn't my dream team. People tend to think this is my dream team. This is just a guess. This is me going inside Brendan Rodgers' head and guessing what he would do. Me personally, Lallana hasn't shown me too much in Liverpool shirt. Been hiding a little bit, but I've been talking about that in my past videos. Also, just to, just to be fair, Sterling needs to step up and show what he did when he was playing for England. I caught, caught a couple of glimpses of it with um, crosses and being in the box and a little, little touching and stuff like that. He hasn't been doing for Liverpool at the moment. Okay, so that's pretty much it. The trivia time um, for my trivia guys that like to, like to take part in this. Can you see we're going to be in London? And see London has a huge amount of teams. I don't know if there's any other city in the world, football-wise, that has as many teams as London that play at such a high level. Uh, can you name me all the London teams that have ever played in the Premiership? So, what's that? When did the Premiership come in? 92, 93? Sometime around there. But from whenever the Premiership... Started until now, all the London teams. Uh, there's quite a few. Okay, guys, so that comments down below. Uh, I'll thank you very much for that. I know probably LFC, the LFC 101, he does a couple of videos. He does videos as well on his YouTube channel. He'll probably give me an answer. He usually does. He likes a good bit of the trivia. So thank you for that in advance, buddy. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down if you like my video or not. Uh, subscribe up above. Thank you very much for that. I love all my subscribers that, that tune into my channel. Um, big thumbs up. Thank you very much, guys. And have a good one. See you soon. All right, bye.